Scavenger receptors receive their name from their function, which includes cleaning and searching for foreign substances. Scavenger receptors are part of the innate immune system, which is the disease-fighting system you are born with. They are found in many cell types, such as monocytes, macrophages, platelets, and smooth muscle cells. Scavenger receptors bind and attach to LDL, which is a fancy term for the bad cholesterol in your body. In the bloodstream, a monocyte that is in contact with LDL binds with a scavenger receptor. Once the scavenger receptor is bound, the macrophage turns into what is referred to as a foam cell. The foam cell then rests and sits on the vessel wall. If a lot of LDL is present, there may be an accumulation of foam, which then results in atherosclerosis. Atherosclerosis is a disease in which there is a buildup of plaque inside your arteries. There are many different types of scavenger receptors, but we are primarily going to focus on two classes. Class A binds to cell walls such as E. coli bacteria. Class B scavenger receptors are able to bind to both LDL and high density receptors. These are the good kinds of cholesterol, which allows them to bind to long chains of fatty acids. Class A and class B are both expressed on macrophages and helps with phagocytosis. Phagocytosis is when a cell gets eaten by another cell. Scavenger receptors act as co-receptors to toll-like receptors, or TLRs. Cells with other TLRs need help from scavenger receptors in order for them to bind to components of pathogens. With the help of scavenger receptors, TLR binds to PAMPs and initiates a cascade of events within the cytosol. The final project of this cascade is a transcription factor. The transcription fa factor enters the nucleus and encodes genes for both cytokines and pro-inflammatory cytokines. The cytokines are sent outside of the cell, which attracts more cells to that area. When scavenger receptors work by themselves, they are functioning as pathogen recognition receptors. An example of this occurs on the membrane of a macrophage cell. Class A binds to the cell wall of E. coli or other pathogens and is then engulfed. Macrophages contain lysosomes, which are packaged up acidic bundles that help eliminate pathogens. Lysosomes enter the pathogen that is containing the receptor and release its acidic contents before fusing with the pathogen membrane. This destroys the pathogens. Um.